Joshua, Ralph and I were at university together in Leeds. These guys met over a bonding of Bob Dylan. I joined them at the time on trombone. Three years ago we moved to London. Lineup changed around a little bit. Uh, sound changed a little bit. Got these guys in and To Kill a King was born. So our latest release was My Crooked Saint and a lot of the songs are based from my hometown of Leeds. But that I suppose as a theme, finding some sort of hope in sort of hard times. Over the past like two or three years though, there has been music that's been coming out which for the first time in a long time has really excited me. For ages I was only really into music that was dead for like, I don't know, 20 years or something like that. Stuff has really started happening, which I think is great and I think it, we're, we're lucky to be a part of that. Well, I hope we're a part of that. You held her in your arms to let her go. Waiting, no oh, waiting. Held her in your arms. Send her back, send her back, send her back. Send her Quite back. a modern take on folk rock, kind of, because there's folky elements, but then there's Ben with his big synthesizer sounds and stuff like that. And um, it's not too sort of yokely and tweed wearing and stuff, so. It's a good it's mixture of like tender moments and like yeah. rocking moments, yes. especially when you see us live. Yeah. It's very dynamic, there's a lot of ups and downs, it's quite emotional, hard hitting. There's a lot of focus on the lyrics in our, in our music, it's kind of a, a poetic element which we're trying to achieve that maybe some other bands in this similar kind of genre aren't, aren't really going for. And also I think we're kind of slightly different in the, the dynamic range from like very acoustic, very tender to quite big sounding, like quite heavy stuff. Um, I think that's what makes us a little bit different. Wrecking Crew's about, I used to work with alcoholics in the community, and what they used to do is sort of gather them all up and put them in sort of one, one selection of flats in one big house. If one of them was doing well, then the others would find a way to kind of like bring them back down. He lives in a loveless house. Daddy was a drinker, he became a drinker in time. Pass me by, oh, young and reckless. Pardon me, not dreaming of forever, just some things I'll never be. Oh, you can't. Finding a name for a band is incredibly difficult. And also, it, it's almost like kind of ridiculous because very soon a name becomes very meaningless. Like if you think of something like Radiohead or Muse, I now don't elbow. <laughs> I now don't think about, I don't think of an elbow. Do you know what I mean? I think of elbow, I think of the Manchester band and everything that's associated with it. Eventually it was kind of, it was the name that we felt summed us up to some degree and like three or four out of the five of us could live with it. So I think mm. that's how we got to it. It's more important that, that you just don't have a shit name, I think. <laughs> Because like, well, even they say my elbow, it's a bad name. Yes. <laughs> and they've done it. And they've done it. Maybe we should have chosen a bad bad name. I suppose comparisons to Mumford and Sons and the National can at times be slightly annoying. I think we understand where they come from and you know, credit to us that people will uh, you know, compare us to those acts. Um, I think it's completely natural isn't it? Every band, if you're a journalist you want to help people describe to that, the person reading what the band's like. So Yeah, well, well I mean from the ages <laughs> of 16 to about 21. Jamie Cullum coming up, <laughs> but that's just because uh, <laughs> back then I used to I used to write with like there would be the odd seventh chord or something like that in there, and they were just like jazz, it's jazz and it's pop, it's Jamie Cullum, and it was like it's not really Jamie Cullum. That was a little bit that grated after a little while, but um, you escaped that. I mean, that to Killer King has never been compared to Jamie Cullum. Yeah, you can quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> so. you